Local Scripting Introduction Local scripting allows for responsive scripts. By default, scripts run on a server. This means that when players press a button or move around the world, their headset has to communicate with the server before their actions can have an impact on the world around them. This takes time, and that is why there's a delay when running scripts on the server. Local scripting means that the scripts run on the player's headset rather than on the server. This allows events triggered by a player's controller to respond instantly for the player. In addition, local events can update every frame. As an example, when a player moves in the world, a local event can run a loop that tracks that movement. This allows objects to precisely follow a player without lagging behind. Limitations Player enter and player exit events are unable to run on local scripts. If a local script needs to receive an event when its owner enters the world, use a default script to receive the player enter event. Then, if the index of the player equals the index that is assigned to that object, transfer ownership of the local script object to the player. This automatically causes the world start event to run for the local object, and the event can be sent when the world starts. The default script cannot send an event to the local script in the player enter event because a transfer of ownership will prevent the event from being received. If a player is holding a local object or has a local object attached, when they leave the world, the grab end and attach end events will not run. If those events are important to your local script, use a default script to send the grab end or attach end events with the player as a parameter when the player exits the world. Local scripts are unable to get or set player persistent variables. If a local script needs to get a player persistent variable, first send an event to a default script that gets the variable, then send it to the local script in an event as a parameter. Then set the player persistent variable to the parameter when the event is received. Local scripts are unable to listen to events from default scripts, and default scripts are unable to listen to events from local scripts. The event must be sent directly from the local script to the default script or vice versa. Variable Persistence When a script transfers ownership, its variables reset to their initial value. However, sometimes a variable needs to persist between ownership transfers. This is typical when an object is handed from one player to another and a variable needs to be the same for both players. As an example, the amount of chargers remaining in a laser tag device should stay the same when a player hands the device to another player. To ensure that the variables keep their value when the ownership changes, a default script needs to keep track of those changes. When the world start event runs, send an event named get to an object variable. That object would be running the persistence script to store the variables. When the get event is received, send a set event back to the object with the variables that need to be persistent. When the set event is received, set the value of the variables to the parameters that were passed. Any changes made to the variables while the object was grabbed or attached need to be saved in the persistence object when the object is released or unattached. In the when object is released event, send a save event to the persistence object with the variables as parameters. When the save event is received in the persistence, set its variables to the parameters. 
Any event in the local script that changes the variables while the object is not grabbed also needs to send the save event with the variables. Check if owned by server. The server player value is a player value that identifies the server. It can be used to check if an object is owned by the server or by a player. As an example, you may want an object to follow a player if a player owns the object. In a world start event, if owner of self does not equal server player, then send the follow event. You may also want to hide the following object if the object is not owned by a player. Converting objects to local. If a script runs locally and references an object in the script, the object that it is referencing runs on the server unless its ownership is transferred to a player. This is the case even if the object does not have a script or if the object is inside the group that the script runs on. As an example, a magic wand might reference an effect inside the wand group and play that effect when a button is pressed. The effect won't respond instantly to the button press unless the effect is running locally on the player's headset. To transfer the ownership of the objects that the script is referencing, set the owner of the object to the owner of self. The easiest way to do this is to look through the object's variables in the script and transfer ownership of each object that you want to respond instantly to player input. If the object does not need to respond instantly, it does not need to run locally. Once the script and the object that is referenced in the script are owned by the same player, then the object will react instantly to that player's input. When world is started. When a script transfers ownership to a player, it automatically runs the when world is started event and any event that was sent before or during the transfer is lost. This means that if a transfer of ownership occurs when a player either grabs or attaches an object, all events sent to self inside the grab or attach event will not be received. Events that are sent with delay during the transfer are also lost. Also, Variables will be reset to their initial values during a transfer of ownership. Since the when world is started event runs during an ownership transfer, it is typically the event that transfers the ownership of objects referenced in the script to the owner of self. Converting scripts to local. To create a local script, first click the gear icon at the top right of the script window. Click the drop down box and select local, then click save. It is important to note that scripts in local mode run on the server until the script ownership is transferred to a player. Local scripts automatically transfer their ownership to players when they grab or attach the object in addition. There is also a script block in the Actions tab under the Player section that transfers the script to a specific player. Simply drop the block into the event where you want the script to transfer owners, then specify which object's script is running locally and which player the script will run locally for.